Hi, this is White Mage Serenia, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. In today's episode, hopefully we'll be able to finish up Locke's scenario, and pick up a, lot, a few uh, treasures that we missed out before. On the message board in my last video, I was notified by a YouTuber named Suzuka-sama, I believe it was, of the running shoes that I missed here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in, and I'm going to equip Locke with the running shoes. I'm also going to switch Celeste to the back row, and instead of the Hyper Wrist, I'm going to give her the Mithril Gloves so that she'll have more defense. Alright, so after you have that, go ahead and move back on up the stairs here. A note on Celeste as well, is she plays similarly to Terra in the fact that she's a magical warrior. She has decent melee and pretty good wisdom for her magic. So for now, since we have lack of better gear and she is, uh, she's got sort of low defense, we're going to have her in the back row and concentrating on magic a bit. So, alright, save if you need to and let's move on. Alright, so in this room here... We can get 500 gold, 1,000 gold, 1,500 gold, and the other one down there is an empty chest. And we want to wind the clock here so that it opens up a secret passage. So go on through the door here, and now we're in an area in which where we can get random battles. So once you can, go down this path and grab the iron armor. Here we have one of the new enemies, the Vector Pup. This uh, enemy will run away if they're the last enemy on the screen, or they have a better chance to, rather. So just have Celeste uh, use ice on them. And just have Lock Attack. You can steal a tonic from them if you wish. There we go, used Escape. Alrighty then. You want to grab the iron armor. Now I'll run back up here and go this way and up and around. We want to get to those treasure chests over there. And here we have the other new enemy, the commander. You can steal a tonic from him as well. Okay, just have Celeste use ice again on all targets. Lock fights. And just have Celeste use attack to finish it off. Or it can run away, either way. Okay, that's it for the uh, new battles here. Oh, something I forgot to mention. Uh, s starting out, Terra focuses more on st uh, healing and fire based magics. Whereas Ter Celeste here has ice and enfeebling. And we're back. That was just a couple more vector pups there. So now that you have those, come down in this hall about three... Speaking of Terra, don't tell me you use the same kind of perfume she does, Celeste. So anyway, like I was saying, come down about three steps in this hallway and you can step off to the side here. In which case you can go down the secret path. Now, once you're down here, you want to go around here and grab the X Potion. Now, come like this and go down below the X Potion and grab the Ribbon. Now, the Ribbons block all status elements in the game. So, you want to come down here and grab the Ether. The Ether uh, is an item that restores your MP by, I think, 50 or 150, something like that. So, anyway, just come back out next to the path like we did. Alright, head over. Alright, Celeste, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Terra. Take off that damn perfume, you're attracting enemies. Alright, so head up the stairs here. Or not. 
And we're back. Now I'll go up the stairs here. And talk to this, or check the door here. And Celeste will ask Locke why he's helping her. And he says that he reminds her, or she reminds her of someone. Alright, so now that we're, now that we can, just head out this way here. Now, just head on up to South Figaro Caves like we did before. And we're back. There's just a couple of old enemies there. Also, I had actually forgotten to re-equip er, Celeste with the Regal Cutlass and the Heavy Shield that we picked up. I also equipped her with the earrings in place of the Mithril Glove. So that should give her some more magic power and uh, attack and defense. Here we have some new enemies. The Gold Bear and the Primord. If I'm not mistaken, the Gold Bear there, well, first of all, has a really strong Gorge attack, as you just seen, and it can also use Mug to steal our gill, I do believe. I'm not entirely sure, but I know there's an enemy later on that has that ability. So when it comes to Celeste's turn, uh, have her heal when she can, or I'll heal on my own time. Alright, I'm going to heal on my own time. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So just follow the path along the way. Uh, just follow the path in reverse the way we followed it before. We've already got all the treasure here. And yeah, you hear a loud drill. Here we have a new enemy, the Trilobite. Um, this enemy here can use a move called Poison Barb, which adds poison. And we got a preemptive strike, so we got really kind of lucky there. So just have. Celeste uses uh, ice on them all, and there we go. That's Poison Barb right there. So when it's her turn, I'm going to have her cast Antidote to uh, heal the poison there, and just have Locke continually attack. Actually, I'm going to steal, see what I can get from him. We got an Antidote. That works. Okay, just wait for, the, uh, for Celeste to get her turn again. No, not... And just single target it with ice, and it should take care of it. Alrighty then, so just go up on right on up through here. You definitely want to check the recovery spring. As I was saying. Now, once you check the recovery spring, just come on down here and we get to fight the boss. Something is coming out of the wall! Oh no, what is it? Tunnel armor! I'll draw its magic attack. It won't hurt us. Come again? I can simply absorb the attack with my runic blade. Are you sure you'll be okay? Just you watch. Now, a note on this, let me pause. A note on Celeste's runic ability is when she uses it and the enemy uses a magic attack, or even if your own allies use a magic attack, if she has runic up on that turn, she'll uh, she'll direct the spell to her, and instead of it doing damage, uh, she'll heal the MP cost of that spell back into her own spell list. So just have Locke try to steal in the first round. And we got another air lancet. That'll come in handy. All right. Have Celeste cast Ice, and then have Lock attack as normal. Okay, this time we're going to have Lock heal with a potion, and we want Celeste to kick in Runic. Now watch. See, she'll draw out the fire, see? Okay, and then just attack as usual. Have Celeste use Runic every other turn. And we should take it down eventually. Running low on time, so come on, guys. There we go, we got him. Anyways, unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today. So this is White Mace Serenia saying I hope you guys have been enjoying these. 
and uh, tune in next time for more adventure when we uh, see the conclusion of all the scenarios. And we will go from there. Uh, have a nice night, everyone. Take care, and thanks for watching.